Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I got me a Stream Deck Plus in the house. Now, as you can see, I do have a uh, Stream Deck already. Here's the thing, I'm not a streamer. And recently I got this Stream Deck over here and I totally love this thing. I cannot live without it now. I mean, I, when I saw this, I thought it was more for streamers, but after playing with it, deep diving into the software and what it does, I can't live without it when I'm using a computer. That's pretty much the gist of it right there. Now, let me explain. Um, if you have multiple mics, if you play games like I do, like for instance, if I'm using my uh, HyperX right here to play games, and I have this mic right here, and I want to switch over to this mic instead of the mic that I am talking to right now, I can just press a button right here and it just switch over to it. Yeah. That's as simple as that. I don't have to fumble with the menu in Windows anymore in order to do that. If I want to mute, mute the mic completely, any mic completely, I just press this button now and it just mutes it. Really useful. Um, and then at the same time, volume buttons, things like that. On top of that, I can switch headphones. So if you have multiple head gaming headphones going and you can set it up to where you can switch which headphone you want. And then on top of that, you can do like uh, a shutdown kind of sequence for this. If I press this, it gives me a shutdown sequence, which is awesome, by the way. Um, so anyway, yeah, no longer do you have to fumble through Windows in order to do the things that you want to do. Amazing. Anyway, that's why I got the Stream Deck Plus, because I love it so much. Now I have to check this thing out because this thing right here has the whole knob thing going, right? I'm hoping that I can just save my profile on here, to be honest with you. Uh, um, and then just flop it over to the new model here. Nice packaging, once again, Elgato. Nice packaging. Now I am sacrificing a few buttons because it doesn't have as many buttons as that one over there. But as you can see, I have some empty slot over here that I'm not using. So really, you know, that's all that I really need, I guess. This thing is big. I mean, it is um, much more spaced out than the other ones. Here's the USB-C cord. Very nice braided, by the way. Okay, yeah, it is uh, definitely bigger than this deck right here and the knobs has clicky on it so it's not a free form knob which is nice okay so this is gonna be my first I'm gonna unplug this by the way isn't this cool I mean this deck right here Awesome. Let's see if I can just plug this in through uh, here. Yeah. Okay. So actually, right right now, window is uh, saying that it detected a new Steam Deck. So do you, I want to copy or not? I'm gonna hit copy, and boom. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. That it just copies straight over here. How does it know? Oh, okay, it's, it's missing a few things. Got it, now I think I have to go in there and configure it. Okay, so one thing I do notice is that the buttons are actually bigger. It's about the size of my thumb, rather than in the old one. Yeah, it's, the buttons are much smaller on the old ones. All right, so now I have to go into uh, the software and actually configure these things. That's why it's not on right now. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, everything is set up right now. It's uh, actually pretty easy to do because I already have a Steam Deck. It actually copy everything over to here. So I just have to copy and paste stuff. Move the application on Windows, moving things around is really, really easy. It's one of the best applications that I've used on Windows. Okay, so right now I can change the volume. So some of the other buttons that I had on here where I changed the volume and I'm taking up two buttons, it's no longer doing that. It's taking up 
only this knob right here. And on top of that, you know, I had the mute button that was on here as well. So it took up three buttons just to do what this one knob does. So if I press this, it mutes right here. If I change the volume, it changed the volume. Then uh, I discovered something pretty cool because I can actually do application focused volume. So there's an application that you just pretty much attach to this knob right here. And now I'm on Microsoft Edge. It's attaching it to that. So application focus is even cooler because you don't want to mute other things, right? You want to mute your YouTube videos. So you would use this knob right here. And obviously you can just mute it all together or not by pressing in on the button. Very cool. I mean, one knob can do multiple things that took up like three buttons. Yeah, totally an upgrade right here. The buttons are, is actually bigger. It looks really nice. Stream Deck Plus. Have a good one. Bye-bye.